Hey everyone, Greg here from the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. And you know what? Today is such a beautiful day. I thought I'd take today's video production outside and share this beautiful Wisconsin autumn weather with you. And I thought, what better machine to use than the ultra portable Nano Pro by 3D Longer. In this video, I'm going to be doing a nice engraving on this solid rock and I'm going to be sharing my settings within Lightburn software when I'm using one of these high speed gobble type lasers found on the Nano Pro. All right, let's get started with today's project. I've got everything inside of this portable bag by 3D Longer. This contains the Nano Pro and everything I need for today's project. Let's crack this open and check it out. Everything inside has its own special little spot, which makes it very easy to pack and unpack. It only takes one thumb screw and several color coded USB cables to get the Nano Pro set up for today's project. I have the first rock loaded into the machine. We're going to see that on the back. I do have a little stick in there and that's just to help level out my work material to the Nano Pro. Next up, we're going to take a look inside the Lightburn software at my settings and the graphic for today's project. The first thing I'm going to do within the Lightburn software is navigate over to the console tab and click on switch carving mode. That is going to set up the Nano Pro for flat work like we're doing on today's project. When I turn my attention over to the main work area, we're going to see that the graphic for today's project is going to be a hummingbird made up of lots and lots of little circles. I sourced this image from Pixabay. This is my favorite free website for high quality images for personal use. If you're using your images to sell, make sure that you contact the artist to make sure that you have the proper license in place. I'll zoom back a little bit. We're going to see that I also drew an oval. This oval also is kind of roughly the size of the rock for today's project. And this way, when I click on the frame button, I'll see that, yeah, it kind of shows up all around on the rock, which uh, is a pretty good way to get things aligned up. Now from here, I'm going to shuttle the laser head up by pushing the up button here. And I'm going to move this up so that I can get the laser shroud in place and protect my eyes. That way I don't need to wear any safety goggles for today's project. I'll get that in place. And there's going to be two red dots. We'll see that through the laser guard yet. Hopefully this camera sees that. And I'm just going to lower the laser head down again until those two laser dots converge to one point. That looks pretty good. And let's head back over to Lightburn software. We're going to check out the settings that I use for this gobble type laser. The settings that I use are going to be very different from what we would see in the, uh, the traditional box type laser machine where the laser head with the laser source shuttle around within the work area. I'll switch over to cuts and layers and we're going to double click on my layer 05. And we're going to see that the first layer, I'm going to have the constant power mode set. I'm running at a speed of essentially 20,000 millimeters per minute, power level of 95%. Constant power mode is going to be on. And I am going to have the bi-directional fill on along with crosshatch. I am going to turn over scan off. And this is one of the major benefits of using this type of a laser system is I don't need and I don't want the over scan on. See the laser head isn't shuttling around where it needs that over scan on. It's just two tiny little mirrors in the front of the machine that are pivoting and they don't need that over scan function. And this is going to save us a tremendous amount of time. 
We're going to go and see that I have my line interval set at 0 0.06 millimeters, which is recommended by 3D Longer for the Nano Pro. I have my scan angle at 45 degrees and filling all shapes at once. I also clicked on the plus button and added a second layer. All the settings are the same except my cross hatch, I turn that to zero degrees. And this is something very common that I use with these high speed machines is I'll do a cross hatch at 45 degrees, followed up by a couple passes, uh, turn to a different angle so I get a more complete fill that is also much, much deeper. From there, I clicked on adding one more sub layer and I'm running at a little bit lower power level and this time I have the mode set to line. And what this is going to do is trace each of those tiny little circles out, making sure that the edge is incredibly clean and crisp. This is all set. And from here, I'm actually ready to hit the start button. And by the way, the uh, cross hatch engravings, I'm doing two passes each of those. And then the line engraving, only one pass is going to be needed. Let's hit the start button and get this project going. Well, check out all of that awesome detail. And by the way, this ran in under five minutes, even with all the passes that we did. Well, I just love all of that incredible detail and the speed that I get with this Nano Pro. In fact, that project ran so quickly, I found another rock and I think I've got time to do another quick project for us. When we take a look inside Lightburn software, we'll see that I took this uh, tool layer and I readjusted it to roughly be about the shape of my project material rock. And this time I found a nice rose. And once again, I'm going to be on that layer number five using all of the same settings. I'll get this set up inside of the machine just the same way I did on the first project. And we'll check out this engraving. The rock I used for the second engraving is a little bit harder than this first rock, but that rose engraving still came out with a lot of really neat detail. And this engraving took even less time coming in at just over two minutes total. Well, I certainly had a lot of fun filming today's video outside these nice October days in Northern Wisconsin are certainly very much so numbered. I hope that you enjoyed the content demonstrating the ease of use of the machine and the portability of it, especially with the accessory of the portable bag. I will have links to all of these products in the video description down below. And just for clarification and full transparency, I am not paid by 3D Longer to showcase any of this. They did send me these samples to share with you on what the machine looks like when it's running. However, they do not script anything for me to say, so I'm free to make videos as I please. And in fact, when you're watching this video, that's the first time that 3D Longer will be watching the video as well. Now down in that description, I do have the links for these. If you click on that, if you do decide to purchase this, um, I do earn a small commission from that at no cost to you. It's one of the things that helps support the Laser Channel and allows me to make more and more videos for all of you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Not only is it a great way to support the Laser Channel, it's an awesome way to connect video content like this with great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.